Hi, this is Anthony with RevZilla TV, and welcome to our fall, winter, cool and cold weather glove buying guide. What I've done in front of me is I've separated three groups of gloves for three distinct reasons. Starting on my left, I have cool to cold weather sport touring gloves. In the middle, in front of me, I have four gloves. They're going to be a much deeper temperature range. They're also going to be sport touring styled, so they're going to be a little bit beefier when it comes to warmth. To the right, I have the extreme gloves. That means extreme low temperature. It also means upgraded protection for adventure riding. I'm going to break these down in three sets. The prices typically on these gloves too go from around $80 to around that $125 mark to $150 mark. So these gloves here on the right are going to be in that $150 north to $200 mark. But they do three distinct groups that are really, if you're depending on your type of riding, you should be able to immediately home in on what's going to be the right group for you. So moving into the first group of gloves. These are going to be our cool to cold weather, what I would consider sport touring gloves. Basically, I'm going to play the distinction here that these gloves are going to be great in medium range cold weather. I can't give temperature ranges because everyone's tolerance to cold is different, but what you have to realize here is these are slightly thinner. They're all going to be waterproof and breathable. So you're going to have the Revit Zenith H2O, which is my favorite in the bunch. I think that offers the best bang for the buck. It's also the nicest functionality. You're going to have the Cortex Scarab glove, which is very reinforced. You're going to have the first gear, new for 2010 Kilimanjaro glove, which is Cordura and a long gauntlet. And you're going to have the Goatskin first gear navigator glove. So let's start breaking these guys down, you know, you know, individually. So starting with the navigator, you're going to have a fleece line, goatskin, gel palm. Basically, it's got Hypora, which makes it waterproof and breathable. You know, any of these gloves that I just mentioned that I'm going to detail right here, if you don't have heated grips when it gets really cold outside, you're going to be cold. You're going to need some type of wind blocking on your hands once you get down sub 40. You have to think that at speed on a motorcycle, subtract 20 degrees from whatever the air temperature is, and that's what you're going to feel when you're getting blasted with air. So you have the Navigator at 89 bucks, coat skin, basic. This is, the, this is the least expensive glove in this mix, but really for winter riding, if you don't make any kind of an investment in some level of technicality, you're just going to be cold right out of the gates. The textile brethren of the Navigator is going to be the new Kilimanjaro glove, which has some reinforcement on the knuckles. It actually has 330D Cordura that goes up this full gauntlet. Hypora waterproof breathable membrane. It's a thin slate um, inner liner on this guy, so it's light. Uh, Clarino reinforced palm, and you have a nice visor wiper on both of these first gear gloves. Again, $89 it's going to be great in mild or cold temperatures. Once it gets to extreme cold, you're going to be cold unless you have heat of grip. Moving up, Cortex Scarab. This is the sportiest glove in this entire lineup. Basically, titanium and carbon reinforcement on all of the knuckles, on the ulna, on the outside of the hand and slide areas. You have a goat skin and cowhide construction, uh, fleece lined, hypora, waterproof, breathable, just like the previous two that I mentioned. So it's going to be waterproof, breathable, some temper foam padding, really a sport oriented full cuff glove here. And the price point on this guy is going to be, I believe, right in that same range. Lastly, I mentioned it, Revit Zenith H2O. Goat skin construction, gel palm, carbon coated knuckle, super fabric on the outside of the pinky in a slide area, tiny laser welded ceramic plates that help you in a slide, um, foam and gel padded palm here for vibration dampening. Really, this is the most pro put together love glove. It's Revit's tri fleece liner. Revit's proprietary Hydrotex wind waterproof liner. It's going to be more waterproof and more breathable. So breathable, your hand perspires, it's going to evaporate to some degree out through all of these gloves that I'm mentioning. It'll do the best job out of the Revit. Waterproofedness, they'll all start waterproof, but if you blast these guys for hours and hours and hours on end, at some point you may hit saturation. It's the nature of the beast, even with the Gore-Tex stuff. That's why the standard always has a level it caps at. These are going to be 109 that come in a women's version. This is the Revit Zenith H2O. This is any of these gloves, extreme cold, will need heated grips to, to perform, but they'll do a great job at a baseline for a commuter, everyday riding, city riding, short trips in the extreme cold, but, but you know where they kind of stop in terms of temperature range. So next up in our cold weather glove mix are going to be gloves that are warmer, but also have some more adventure, light adventure riding features. They're basically gloves that are going to take you way deeper into the temperature range, but also give you more functionality and more range for longer distance touring. Let's start with the entry level or the baby in the bunch here. That's the value price glove. It's going to be the Tourmaster Winter Elite at 98 bucks. Starts at 109, we take it 10% off. I'm actually a big fan of this glove because I feel like it offers a lot of protection. Notice I'm putting it on here. So you're going to have much, much more of a cowhide construction, padded knuckle. You have a, a visor wiper here. It's, it's got a Hypora breathable waterproof liner that allows your hand to perspire while also keeping it completely dry. 
The nice part is that you have this big cuff, which is an outer cuff, and you also have an external gaiter, which you can cinch like a ski glove. But the other thing that I really like, it's a Thinsulate liner on this guy, so it's very warm. But it also has this great, you know, if you're in the worst of it, heavy wind, heavy rain, driving rain, snow, it has this additional liner that comes out of the back of the cuff here. And basically what it allows you to do is further block any rain on the outside. So what you have to remember is the waterproof breathable lining is built into the glove, but it's not the exterior. So if you want to keep the outside of the glove from picking up any rain and extended rain periods, you can put this waterproof shell over it, which also has grip and a spot for the visor wiper that comes out of the back. Like I said, 98 bucks can keep you very warm. It's very much a dead of winter glove. That's the Tourmaster Winter Elite. I'm a fan of it. Moving on, I'm gonna do the Kelvin next. So you go from 98 bucks, now you go to three gloves that are at the 149 price range. This is the Kelvin, it came out in 2009 from Revit, tri-fleece liner, upgraded hard knuckle protection that's coated. It's got Revit Hydrotex waterproof breathable membrane. It has uh, Thinsulate, um, Thinsulate inside as well for warmth. The nice part about this glove is it has a special feature on it called PCM by Scholler out of, out of uh, Europe. What PCM is, it's phase change material. It's a paraffin wax layer that chemically absorbs heat and as it begins, it regulates your hand. So think of it as a non-electric thermostat for this glove. Your hand gets too hot, the PCM layer absorbs the heat. Your hand starts to cool off, it releases the heat. So this glove's actually calibrated. This was actually Webbike World's favorite glove for the winter of 2009. Warm, waterproof, water resistant, and has that great PCM with the rugged um, ADV style knuckle. Moving up, brand new glove for 2010. This is the Revit Orion glove at 149. This one has a beefier textile construction. It's a, it's a thousand D ripstop Cordura. You're going to have a nice fleece snot patch here for lack of a better term. You have a visor wiper on the outside of the left finger, which is nice. Gore-Tex, the highest degree of breathability, the highest degree of waterproofiness. So from a waterproofing standpoint, this is the best guy in the bunch. Um, medium cuff here, ripstop. It's just a beautiful glove that does a lot of things well. Temper foam, reinforced palm, double cuff closure. Um, very warm on the inside. This is a full-scale winter glove You know that doesn't have the, the durable knuckle. This is a great glove if you're more into long-distance touring into the coldest weather. Moving from there, we're back to cowhide. We have cowhide exterior with a Gore-Tex membrane. This is the held freezer glove at 149. Primaloft is the insulation here. This is probably the thickest glove in this middle range. This is going to give you the deepest temperature rating. This has a, Primaloft is usually used in mummy bags or sleeping bags. It's a fiber fill that's typically a hollow, hollow design. Very, very cold weather temperature rating on this guy. Um, notice the functionality, it's a little bit heavier, so if for active dual sport riding conditions, probably not the best. But if you're on a gold wing or longer distance touring, if you don't have heated grips, this is a phenomenal option at 149. So basically you have the value guy, Tourmaster Winter Elite, 98 bucks, 149 for these three. Revit Kelvin Glove, Revit Orion GTX Gore-Tex glove, and then the held freezer at 149 as well, which is also a Gore-Tex glove. So the last faction of the gloves we have today are the extreme gloves. Extreme adventure touring from a functionality and protective standpoint, and an extreme warmth. Um, basically, these are going to be top tier gloves. They're all going to be a heavy duty investment. They're meant to be very durable and last a long time. So what I'm actually going to do is, this group of gloves just blows everything else on the table away. I'm just going to go like that, and we're going to slide these guys over, and we're going to talk to them from there. Start out 169, this is the baby in the bunch, Revit Alaska Glove, brand new for this year. It's GTX, it's Gore-Tex, waterproof breathable. It's actually, this is a pre-production sample, it's gonna be a fully molded hard knuckle on this guy. Cowhide, goat skin construction, you're gonna have some hard part sliders in the palm, as well as in the pinky finger. Beefed up construction, this is meant to be a $169, all season, extreme cold weather, uh, touring glove, Thinsulate liner, um, great adventure features on that guy. Moving right along, now we have the held warm and dry for $199. This is a shorter cuff glove, it's a little bit sportier, but it's a ton of extreme functionality here. You're gonna notice we have super fabric on it, we have a mixture of goat skin, cowhide, it's a short cuff. Again, it's Gore-Tex, so the top end waterproof breathability. Visor wiper on this guy. The held gloves are beautiful, they're out of Europe. They do, a, that's all they do is gloves, and here in the States, and they just spend a ton of time on R&D. The nice part about this glove, it's meant for the GS guy, it really is. It's a little bit thinner on the palm for heated grips, and it's very much a lot of the a lot of the insulative properties are along the back of the hand, windproof properties for the held warm and dry at 199. Moving up, brand new glove for this year from Gort or from Revit. This is Revit's top of the line. It's called the Bastion GTX. Thousand D DuPont Ripstop Cordura. Super fabric across the back of the hand. 
hard parts in the heel. These are actually race level hard parts for optimal protection as well as the outside of the pinky. Goat skin with reinforcement panels. You have super fabric on the thumb. I'm gonna show you something that in, in the production value or job, production level glove for this guy, there's not gonna be super fabric on the fingers. I have my stuff early to, to, to test, to beat on, and to shoot these videos. This ended up being a tank scratcher. We, we talked to Revit about it. Revit's actually gonna bag the super fabric on the fingers. 189 for this guy. It could be worn inside, it could be worn outside. Thinsulate, liner, just a beautiful glove. It's, it's Gore-Tex, so it's waterproof, breathable. It's gonna do everything well. This is their Adventure Touring Bad Boy glove for 2009. Double cuff, double cuff will come right off. Moving up from there, we have the most expensive glove on the table. Now, most expensive typically doesn't mean the best, but in this case, this is probably the warmest glove that's not heated on the table. Primal off insulation, this is the Dionese Jericho. It's fully Gore-Tex, it has a double gaiter on the inside, so you can wear this guy inside or outside. Single zipper system for over the jacket with the zipper garage, or it closes to go tight underneath. This is called Cowhide Clarino, this, this synthetic textile which is abrasion resistant. Coated carbon knuckle here. You have the Dainese distortion control to guard against the low side and your little pinky finger. I'll tell you why I love this glove besides the fact that it's really well designed. You know the Dainese is gonna give you great style. The Primal Loft that's on the inside of this is extremely warm. Again, Primal Loft is that sleeping bag material. We saw it on the Held Freezer, but the Held Freezer is a very bulky glove. They have managed to put together this glove to be extremely warm but also not be bulky. This is a great glove for sport or adventure touring. This will do it all. 209, the Jericho from Dainese. The last glove I have on the table is called the, T the T5 from Gerbings. It's actually a heated glove. And I have it here because if you're really gonna go down to 10 degrees and somehow you can find conditions that don't have any ice on the road, this is the glove that you're gonna need. Basically, it plugs into your jacket liner, it plugs directly into your Gerbings power source. It's Hypora waterproof breathable. It's a mix of, of cowhide, box finger construction with the uh, microwire that goes all the way up the fingers and along the back of the hand as well as in the palm. This is a very much the top end glove from Gerbings at 169. This is the T5. Um, you know, depending on your temperature range, depending on how you like, if you like to have heated grips or, or heat within your glove versus in the grip, that could be a great option for you. It's gonna be rugged as well. If you have any questions about any of the gloves that we've shoot, shot today, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. A lot of these gloves come in women's options. You know, remember, we have cool weather sport touring, we have sport touring for a deeper temperature range, and these are the bad boys that go into extreme adventure touring and extreme weather conditions. I'm Anthony, thanks for watching today. Be sure to check out our other cold weather fall winter uh, riding guides for ladies, sport touring, everyday riding, sport riding, and adventure touring. We'll see you next time on RevZilla.com. Thanks for watching.